Hi friends, when you are making a website for your client using WordPress, there are many things uh, like admin menu that you never wanted to share with admin or any other user uh, that is handling your website. Like this is top bar, admin bar and uh, there might be certain navigation in the left panel as well. So how you can control all these things, what you want to share with the user and how you can control the admin bar. This is the objective of this video. If you want to change these settings and these uh, admin bars or controls, I'm going to give you a complete solution in this video. Watch this video until end and if you are new to this channel, you may please subscribe the channel. This is a course going to be done by using a plugin and the plugin is a complete set that I'll show you in this video. And the plugin is called admin menu editor. This is pro version. So you have to use the pro version and you can avail the plugin by following the video description. What you can do with this plugin summarily, you can hide menus from uh, roles or users and you can organize the menu with drag and drop. Choose from over 600 menu icons. You can change the icons as well. Change menu colors, create menu items, make menu open in new tab or in iframe. Hide plugins. This is very important. The, when you are sharing the admin credentials with your client, you might be willing to hide the plugins that you are using. Import and export menu setting up and you can even apply your branding and edit admin bar so these are all solutions available in this plugin and i'm going to show you the demo of this this is the demo and it is coming from the developer itself so you can explore it at your own as well so this is dashboard setting and the dashboard in the dashboard you can simply change the things like you can change the dashboard name of course so complete menu and the dashboard and the navigation is going to be in your control and even that up to user level. So you can select all users at once or you can select a specific user that you want to edit or uh, for, for a specific user that what you want to edit. Like you can change the nomenclature of dashboard, you can change the URL of index page and permissions as well. You can create your own menu that you want to show like example menu 1, 2, 3, 4, so whatever you want to show. So you can add your things at the dashboard, uh, what you want to show at the dashboard uh, or want it to show pages in iframe and the uh, user demo and all such things. So it is very simply available. Next you can change the meta boxes what is available at your dashboard. So complete meta boxes is edited, editable like what you want to show in the meta boxes like uh, categories, author. So the meta boxes is available inside the pages and the controls that you can and control through this plugin like post authors you can hide or so visible by, by default is here. So what you want to show in the meta box like WP blog, content editor, slug, publish, title and uh, content uh, in our WP navigations can be changed and the link that you want to show, advanced categories, say target, wherever it is available, you can control. Dashboard widgets like uh, dashboard widgets, you can again handle the dashboard widget like uh, on the very first page when we log in at the WordPress so this is welcome page and you can simply change the welcome note and at a glance and the site has his status but if you want to add some HTML widget you can do that and you can change the column number of columns similarly redirects is under your control with this plugin so where you want to redirect the login redirects and log out redirects redirects and registration redirects and first login redirect so you can choose a role as well so users and their specific roles so you can change everything next users so what you want to change for user you can uh, add hidden users uh -huh. what you want to hide like uh, you can add a new user to hide or uh, like you can select this user 
and you can hide the certain things or user itself so it is again a useful thing roles you can decide like role wise what you want to show uh, like core administration sections or uh, what actually users can do like what they can use like users administrator can edit the dashboard export import similarly plugins can be handled by the administrator or and every control that is available at your website you can specify specify user wise like editor roles you can decide author roles contributors subscribers and the current user so it is totally up to you how you want to give the permission to your users some tricks are also here like i'll show you what is available and like settings are here environment type you can change like production environment you can change so environment type in the toolbar if it is a, a production site a staging site development label so you can use and you can hide the gutenberg blocks it is also very important if the gutenberg is active at your installation you can hide and the things available in the gutenberg itself further uh, profile fields you can decide you can also hide the uh, profile fields so this is the thing and you can control in the tricks option branding is another thing that you definitely wish to have if you are creating a website for your client like you will like to certainly remove the wordpress logo that is available like this one logo is here and by default about wordpress wordpress ord documentation and all things remains available and you can remove this logo you can upload your custom logo you can add a huge logo link url and the admin footer so admin footer is also an important thing like this is thank you for creating with wordpress so you can hide all these things uh, like wordpress branding and another thing the default wordpress emails all mail goes from looks like uh, it's coming from the default wordpress so you can change the wordpress email uh, type i mean the uh, default look of uh, wordpress emails like uh, it looks like wordpress at the rate and mean or so you can change the defaults next is the login screen that is going to be changed using this plugin and you can simply and uh, change the log logo of login screen and you can decide the login url as well you can change the background image image position you can decide and you can write custom message as well and further if you want to put any link you can do this colors is the thing that you will be able to change like base color you can change the this is for admin menu not for uh, theme so plugins what plugins you want to show and how you want to show the plugins to the users and administrator like uh, a hello dolly uh, is available for all users or so if it is a con contributor nothing is visible Pl or plugins can be hidden using this option and similarly import export option can be controlled using these options setting is also available for this plugin itself who can access this plugin that is super admin or anyone with the manage option capability and the modules what modules particularly for this plugin so if this is a super admin user so it is uh, accept all things accessible by the super user and what actually modules should be visible to super admin you can decide here and interface like hide advanced menu option by default enable hide uh, cosmetic toolbar button and all so new menu visibility new money menu position and the sub menu icons all can be controlled now there is an another option uh, also server info that is uh, another option that we can see is easy hide with this plugin and if we are using this option that is eg hide you can simply select what can be hidden what you want to hide at once so uh, you can select all by default or all can be hidden for users that you want to hide 
So it is totally up to you what you want to show, how you want to hide the things like admin menu, dashboard widgets, editors, login page and the profile. So select the user and hide the things that you want to hide. And the toolbar editor. This is also equally important. If it is a WordPress website, you don't want to show the toolbar. So this is uh, on the top bar, you can say. Menu, you can hide about WordPress. Then this is the toolbar. Yes. So support and the new and all. And so all these things, updates, customize. Okay. So this is the section. So it may uh, vary from theme to theme because uh, uh, things may be different or different themes. So it will be controlled according to theme as well. So I believe this is going to be a very helpful tool if you are willing to hide the WordPress defaults and want to control the menu items available at WordPress installation. And this plugin can be available through the link given in the video description. You can go for this and just in case if you need any support, you can write in the comment section. Meanwhile, I will also show you the plugin folder. So what uh, is available in the bundle of plugin. So admin menu editor, you can have and branding add-on and the toolbar editor. These three plugins make this all uh, editable for you. And you can check it at the URL given in the link. And you can explore all the things at our demo instance uh, that has been created by the plugin developer itself. So explore this option and I believe it will be a helpful tool for you. Explore it and use it. Thanks for watching. I'm coming with our next solution in the next video. Thank you.